Right, good morning, welcome back. Now, as you can see, this old silencer is in a rotten condition and fit for the bin. Well past its sell by date. 30 years has rotted a hole in the underneath of it through condensation. Quite normal, happens all the time. You just take it off and put a new one on. Well, that's easier said than done, because right now, firstly, the big triumph, well, that's my transport. I need that on the road at all times to get me around, and I'm putting all my budget right now into the Harley Davidson build. So at the moment, temporarily, I haven't got the money to replace these. So I need to see if I can make them last a little bit longer. And the easiest way to do that is to treat that rusty hole like you would on a rusty old car body by patching it. I'm gonna see if I can grind back with a grinder to good metal, that's if there is any. And if there is, and it's good enough to weld to, then I'll make a little patch on the English wheel, put it over the top and plate it over. And that hopefully should get me into the winter, maybe even through the winter, and I can replace the system in the spring. So let's see how we get on. Well, okay, because some criticisms are infinitely predictable, first of all, this is not a grinding disc or a flap disc or anything like that, it's a polishing disc. That is no more than scotch bright, like a fine scotch bright as well. And all it's done is polish off the black chrome so I can see what I'm looking at, take out all the debris. And there it is. The hole itself got no worse, really. I'm quite surprised. There's a big chamber inside there that stops here. So there is a big chamber right across. That's gonna support it nicely for welding. This is a big stainless steel wrap. That will weld too nicely as well. And right the way around here, you can press it all you like, it doesn't move. So the steel is still thick and supportive. So all I actually need is to patch roughly that area there. And it's the usual procedure. Let's make a cardboard template, transfer that to the steel, weld it on, grind it back, and hopefully it should hold.
Right, that's fixed it. I'll see you next time.